last one. They just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. Portland's moving it up the ice. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a chance! He scores! A short-handed marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Into the empty net for the goal. I know it's not all that sexy, but it still counts. Yeah, and it goes into the goal column too, personally. Yeah. So if you can get a few of these a year, not so bad. Those added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. It's a two-on-one. Whoa, scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one! Well, that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. The Monsters get a hold of the puck along the boards. Drives it to the crease. Portland's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Here they come. Three of them. Whoa. Scores into the empty net. And that should do it. You're out there to defend the lead. But if you get a chance at the empty cage, that is a nice little bit of icing on the cake. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. one nothing is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead, they have it now. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere. and off, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. More than half the period left to play. Portland's got a one-goal lead. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Moved out in wow. front! He scores! What a goal! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one times that in from the low slot. Oh. 
from their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Portland's on the attack. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Nichuskin. Let's it go. Makes the save. Scores! And they take advantage. A really confidently run power play right from the way they entered the zone, the way they held on to the puck and moved it, and they found the open man. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. No question about it. And we are all over with this one tonight. We've got ourselves a series here as we're all evened up at one. A lot of pressure on them, trailing one game to nothing, coming into game two, they played really well. They needed this, not to fall down to nothing. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, the penalty killers make a mistake. They give up a man advantage break. And the power play doesn't miss. With the extra man, they score on the rush. And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? looking to break out. Moves it around along the half wall. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Well, things are going from bad to worse. The first goalie sitting on the bench in a ball hat. This guy can't stop the shot either. The Marlies have it now. Nice pass. A shot comes up with the stop. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! First crack at it tonight. The Monsters work it through center. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moved in front! Score! Short-handed! A backbreaker of a goal! Man, does that pump your bench up, and you can imagine what the other guy's bench is like, flat as a pancake, giving up the shorty. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Take it along the wall. Portland's going to play it from the corner. On the backhand. Scores! What a shot! That's a 
rising so quickly, they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Well, in the immortal words of Roberto Duran, no moss here. This is one-sided now. Yeah, it's not going to end quick enough for them either. They are getting hammered. putting this baby to rest. Well, a big victory here as they now go up 2-1 in the series. Well, back and forth we go as it's tied at 1-1. Now, who's going to get the leg up? They are. They've got the 2-1 series lead. In short, you simply have to love playoff hockey. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. stick in an instant no stopping it one timing it so it's in the net and don't let the opponent start to dictate the pace levels them with the hit right up front redirected shot it scores now this is a different level here you get into your first playoffs and you're able to get on the board hard to get them much quicker than that a pair of goals in 40 seconds Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Gain possession along the wall. Moves along the blue line. Quick shot, and that's turned aside with a glove. Scores! Well, well, well. Now they're back into the game here, only down by one. They have the opportunity to tie this up. one as the final horn sounds. Well, a big win here tonight, and they take a commanding 3-1 lead. That's a crushing loss for their opponents. You're in the series at 2-1. Now, all of a sudden, you feel like a series win is a long, long way away. Great playoff action here this evening for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next playoff game. Good night.
The goalie's just checking this out on the big board, but he didn't get enough of this to stop it. They've had to work hard to get this game even. Now we'll see what they can do as it's a new game. Sends the pass over. Oh. They scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Man, that's nice. Really good puck work. They got out into the open ice on the odd man rush. Move it quickly, and they're going to finish it off nicely. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Chance in Whoa. front. Scores! They are on fire. Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Talk about the closeout game being the hardest to win. They finally pulled that off. Well, you knock them out and you know they're going to fight as long as they possibly can. You get to move on. You get a couple of days breather at least to look forward to the next series. And time for one of the great traditions in all of sports, the handshake here. Even though there are bitter feelings through the series, it is awesome to go through and show your respect to the winners. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.